What's going on, y'all? This is your the Young and the Wrestlers, Re Young and the Wrestler for December twenty third, twenty sixteen. Let's jump on into it, shall we? As well, it was some nice little scenes, some boring scenes, some wish they would have left out, but it was some shit. Devon still couldn't believe his he believe his ears what but what Hillary I mean what the Lila was telling him about his bitch about her using you and she best to use that to get a better opportunity for her. He didn't want to believe that so she said, Okay then while well, you ask and see what she tell you. So he confronted her, he go Lily or me, Hillary. Oh shit, that damn sold him. She said, where did you hear this from? Who told you this? Nah, oh, I'm sorry, like no person. Your typical person that tells on themselves. Want to know who the source, who told, who ratted me out, like you going to shoot them or something. Basically, they had that serious talk that needed to be taught. I think Devon was serious. I don't think Devon, I don't think Hillary was, she was I was about 20, maybe 40% serious with Devon about the fact that you always buy me stuff. You always trying to buy my love. You trying to make me happy. <sighs> we started off our relationship slash marriage off from a fleeing from your dad. I know I'm not good enough for you. You always doing this, always buying me this. Like I'm never gonna be good enough for you. Basically saying stuff with a person with a low self-esteem was saying, Hillary, you allow him to do it. And Hillary, don't act like you ain't enjoying none of it because he buying your love or whatever the fuck y'all call that. Y'all call it a marriage. I call it a nightmare. And I call it a nightmare that won't end for me in my opinion. Yet y'all call it a marriage, but okay. Like, y'all needed this talk, and y'all need to have plenty more talks like this. For both of uh, Devon, for you end up broke, and Hillary, uh, Hillary end up hitting the lottery, thanks to Miss Chancellor Money. Yeah, you better have that serious talk, Devon, and you better keep on having these serious talks, because she is going for a ride with you. She basically had to come up with this little good scheme. Jack helped her come up with this scheme. She rolled that shit and rolled that to the wheels fell off. Then, on top of it, had the man going in. And I'm going to talk about this in my video yesterday. Um, Jack, if I was you... Yeah, I wouldn't trust that man with none of my goddamn business. And he wouldn't have run his mouth like this, told all of Hillary business. Not just part of it, all of it. Now, most people that would have said they got an agreement with somebody doing something for a friend or whatever, what not have you. Basically, who the fuck are you? Where the fuck you come from? How do I know you not lying? How the fuck I know you ain't going to use this against her? That would have been the four damn points. I would have came at that little ass. She would have came at me like that with all them damn questions. Well, I don't know that. How do I know you not one of her enemies trying to bring her down? Because like I said, Lily, wasn't, Lily ain't um that sly when it comes to being sneaky. She's somewhat trying to nosy, but she ain't sneaky. And all them questions, you serious then sit catch on? And I realize, oh shit, she might not be the person she says she is, or, or she might be trying to do something, even though she did was sneaky and all that, like I said, Lily trying to protect her brother the best way she know how from a sneaky helper named Hillary, cause you know it and I know it, and Hillary get the chance, she gonna rob Devon blind, have his bank on zero dollars, and she won't have no sympathy, I won't cry for him at all, he'll be crying, but she won't. Like I said, so I can't blame Lily nor fault Lily for that. Trying to keep her brother, keep something he ain't never had in his damn life, aka meaning that money Miss Chancellor left him, and he ain't let him went to his head. Then he, like, I guess it's his first girlfriend too, I guess. That's why he trying to spoil her riding it, Devon. Besides you calling this a marriage, I just thought about this. Don't call it a marriage. You best of the sugar daddy and shit. <laughs> Devon, you acting like a damn sugar daddy. 
Do you not realize half of y'all ready to ship? Yes, you, 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 you buying it is, buying that, buying it is, buying the house, buying the company. <laughs> Are y'all sure this marriage legal? Because that's illegal. Basically, you just bound her love. Have you ever heard of Jennifer Lopez? My love don't cost a thing. Of course, Hillary ain't going to tell you that because she's liking all the perks she getting. But Devon, this must be your first year of relationship in or a girl that ever pays you any attention or whatnot. Are you sure going out for somebody that's trying to make themselves seem somebody they really not? Because I... That best of sugar mama, sugar daddy, baby, relationship you and Hillary got, whatever. So Billy, he at the um at, at the um Chancellor Mansion doing the thing, throwing candy at the fire or whatever the hell he was doing or in the garbage can. Him and Gia told. He said all he want for Christmas is the Gia stay the fuck out of my relationship with me and Victoria, whatever it is. You stay the fuck out of it. I'm surprised, I'm surprised she agreed to it. Cause he said, oh Lord, she finna get started with this Victoria shit. Let me shut her up real quick. That's why he said, I got a feeling somewhere that Victoria and Billy, they can make it work this time, maybe. And Billy don't want to start to scrape bad. They might can make it work. Hell, you think about it. Hell, out of all the men she ever dated, I think her and Billy break up and break down. There, there she be. That was her long relationship with Billy. I guess that's why she can't get over him. So, that's that. So, the new is up there, Sharon, I mean, Sharon. Yeah, Sharon ain't celebrating the, celebrating the holiday. She took faith in Sully, um, stocking down. Everybody at the Newman house. Um, Sharon, try, I mean, Dylan trying to bring a Christmas spirit in. Mariah tried. She said, yeah, I ain't gonna get nowhere. So, she decided to leave and say, I love you. Nikki was looking for Paul to talk Dylan into coming. The, the, um, Paul tried his hard to try to get in the Christmas spirit and said that Nikki wanted you to come. He didn't want to come. So basically, Nikki had a somewhat of a good holiday. Victor said, yeah, I know. I know you missing somebody. I know you missing somebody. And I know you missing he, I'm surprised Victor said that. Even though I, me and Paul, I mean, me and Dylan don't get along like that. Well, at least you do love him, and I know how you feel. And I wouldn't have said nothing to he would have came, because I understand you want both of your children around. And I wouldn't have said nothing, but I bet you Nick would have said something. And what shocked me was he had the audacity to show up with the baby in tone. Not Nick. About damn time you do something nice, Nick. Yeah, you didn't drag Sharon through the coals in the mud. Shit. I was surprised you actually did that. I was shocking. I'm like, is this Nick? Nick doing good justice? Like, uh, um, okay. Yeah, just a joke. Is he pulling our legs? Cause Nick doing some shit like this? Oh, okay. I guess it was a one-time opportunity for him, and he want to play nice for Christmas. I wonder how long he let the, actually let the baby stay. How, I am wonder how long he actually stayed there with the damn baby. I'm pretty sure no longer than 20 minutes, because you know him and Sharon don't get along. So I'm where our fight going to break out regardless. All right, now, about all I want to talk about. Y'all enjoy y'all day. Let me know what y'all think about um today's episode. Leave it down in the comment section. Don't forget to share and subscribe, and I'll see y'all later. Bye.